Do you need help? No, I don't need help. Quiet. Who? Are you sure? Yes, you don't know anything. Daddy! Oh, um, he said you had it. You're adopted. Welcome back, my perfect viewers. Today, I have answered your calls. We will make an external hack for Counter-Strike 2. That's right, we will go from nothing to a fully working multi-hack that contains an aimbot, an ESP or wall hack you might call it. Then we will add more features as the series goes on. This is part one of this playlist, so make sure to subscribe, like the video and write a comment so that you will be notified when the next part drops. Please watch the whole videos and all chapters because otherwise you will have a bad time following along. But don't worry, if you're new to C Sharp Game Hacking, this tutorial is pretty noob friendly. And I will also add playlists to get you started with the basics, plus you can also join the Discord for further help. In today's video, we will focus on the showcase and how to set up your project to be ready for part 2 the page. But remember, use dash insecure in the launch options. And with that out of the way, enjoy this showcase. Welcome to today's showcase. I have opened Counter Strike 2 because that's the game we're going to create a multi hack for. But remember, before we use any sheets or any third party software, we add dash insecure into our launch options. Then we can open my or your future multi hack. So it's very similar to the videos before, and I don't think it's that complicated. Let's start it. We get this beautiful little window here and we have some options. Now we have a namebot option and an ESP. We also have this secondary option closest to crosshair and that means the aimbot. So, but let's add some bots to play around with. So let me just set species to one bot stop. Never mind. Let's add the bot before so we can see and would you look at that an enemy bot is there and he is moving around if we add a teammate bot as well he's there so you can see these boxes esp boxes that are on top of the entities so let's stop them real quick before he comes and kills me here we have bot conlef is that a real name? I don't think so. But this bot has a an ESP box over him. He also have this or has this health bar. So if I shoot him in the foot, you can see that the health went down. And when it reaches the end, he's dead. So thanks for the op. That's uh the new features, let's uh, select the closest to crosser and now uh, change the ESP colors and so on. So let me add some more bots. There we go, five bots on, or five entities on each team. And you can see that the boxes display on our teammates. Let's uh, remove the dots. I have dots pre-enabled and let's uh, change our team's color. Never mind, I like the blue, so we'll keep the blue. Then we can change the enemy color. So maybe uh, let's use the black color and uh, we don't need to do anything else. So. 
we have these entities down there. Let me take a closer look at them. We can also see the distance between our player and them. And it's not really accurate. I just divided the units by 100. And you can see here that boxes display onto or on the enemies and we can shoot them, health goes down, he's dead. We also have the aimbot, so if we hold our aimbot key, he aims at the closest entity to the crosser. So he should aim only at this left one now and not this guy who's close to me. So, a simple aimbot as well. And that's pretty much it for the multi-sheet. So, uh, it might be uh, a bit few features, but we can add more as we create more videos on the subject. So, I wanted to get this prototype out so we can get it started but i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we're at the desktop i have my beautiful wallpaper with my beautiful face on it and we will take a look at the setup we're going to configure to actually create this multi-sheet so let me go through with y'all all of the software to start we will need to use visual studio ide development uh, environment so you will have to install visual studio uh, you can use the 2022 one if you don't know which one to choose so when we have the visual studio we can install c sharp.net development so you will install exactly this i have the c here as well but what you will need for this tutorial is the dotnet desktop development for c sharp so once you have installed that you can find these by going into the visual studio installer and when you have installed these two you will have to get sheet engine this is your uh, this is the default tool to use within game hacking and so on we can find addresses by searching for values and uh, find out if or uh, what a what a value has uh, if it has a relationship to a different address and so on so you will need sheet engine once you have installed sheet engine and so on uh, we will get the last tool which is either Ghidra this is what I will be using uh, or you can get the IDA freeware so it's uh, free it will work as well I will use Ghidra but we will use these tools to cross-reference uh, strings to operands so you don't need to know what that means before going into this tutorial we will go through that and these are just the tools that you will need for this tutorial so install these ones and make sure you're ready for when the next part drops so good luck uh, fellow viewers and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.